Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee and we are continuing our videos on linear relationships. This video we're going to discuss how to write one-step linear equations from situations. Okay, Jessica used the following formula to determine T, the sales tax on P, the dollar amount of a customer's total purchases at the t-shirt shop where Jessica works. A customer bought a red t-shirt for $15 and 15 metallic letters for $1.50 each. What is the sales tax on the customer's purchase? Alright, so the equation we're given is that T equals 85 thousandths P. So our first question is, what does the variable T represent in the equation? Well, if we go up here, it tells us that T is the sales tax. So we're going to fill this in, sales tax. It's very important when you're given equations for situations that you're able to identify the different parts so that you can make sure that that equation makes sense and that it matches the situation. Then it says to highlight where the variable t is defined in the problem above. So you can highlight it. If you don't have a highlighter, you can underline it. But it says t is the sales tax. All right. Now, are we given a value for the variable t? Um, does it say anything here about how much sales tax she's paying? No, we're not. So the answer is no. Okay, then what does the variable P represent in the equation? So P is the dollar amount of a customer's total purchases. So we can write total purchase. Total purchase amount. And then it says to highlight where the variable P is defined in the problem above. Um, I would use a different color highlighter. If you don't have a highlighter or a different color, then you can circle it if you want or use a pen. So P is the dollar amount of the total purchase. Okay, are we given a value for the variable P? If so, highlight it. So I'm actually going to use the same color. We are given a dollar amount. We're told that they bought the red t-shirt for $15, $15 and 15 metallic letters for $1.50 each. And then what is the value? So we're going to have to do a little bit of math here. The value is going to be the $15 for the t-shirt plus the 15 letters that are at $1.50 each. So if we do the math, we have the $15, and now we're going to need to multiply the 15 letters times the $1.50 each, and you're going to get $22.50. Okay, Add them together and you get a total of $37.50. So write the meaning of the equation in your own words. What does it mean? Well, what does T represent? T is the tax, the sales tax. So the tax is going to equal 0 .0 0 0.085 times, times what? What is the P? The total purchase amount, times the purchase amount. So you could actually solve this for T by plugging in our P value of $37.50 and then multiplying it by 0 .085. Okay, so let's look at some situations and see if we can write the linear equations for them. Danny is two years younger than his brother. All right, first we need to identify the independent and the dependent variables. So we're talking, we're comparing Danny's age with his brother's age. So which one is independent? Which one would you need to know? Danny's age or the brother's age? Well, we know Danny is two years younger than the brother. So we would need to know the brother's age, wouldn't we? That's your independent, which means Danny's age would be your dependent. Is this additive or multiplicative? Because he's younger, this means we're subtracting, which makes it an additive. 
And which equation would we use? This one right here. So let's write it. Y is going to equal, and Y is Danny's age. Danny's age is going to equal X, which is the independent variable, his brother's age, minus the two. And there's your equation. Let's do another one. Each day, Macy gets three hours of homework. So what are we comparing? We're comparing the number of days and the amount of homework that she gets. Which one is independent? The three hours, the hours of homework or the number of days? The number of days is your independent. You need to know how many days of homework. If you know each day is three hours, you don't know the total number of hours unless you know how many days of homework she has. So the number of days is your independent variable, your x. Your dependent variable would then be your hours of homework. Additive or multiplicative? Each day she gets three hours. This each is your clue word that means to multiply. So it's going to be multiplicative. And which equation are we going to use? The y equals kx because this is your multiplicative. So let's write it. Y, your dependent, the number of hours of homework she has, is going to equal 3 times X, the number of days that she has homework. Okay, Matthew's business partner gets half of Matthew's profits. So we're comparing Matthew's profit to his partner's profit. So what do you have to know? Well, you don't know. You know that the business partner gets half, but you don't know how much money the business partner is going to get unless you know how much profit Matthew makes. So Matthew is the independent, and the partner would be the dependent. And it says that he gets half. Well, that's the same as multiplying by half or dividing by two. So this is going to be multiplicative which means we're going to use this equation format right there. So y, the dependent variable, which is the partner's profit, is going to equal half of x, half of Matthew's profit. Or you could write it as y is going to equal Matthew's profit divided by 2. Okay, we have one more example to, oh, nope, that was it. You are done.